Hello, I'm Andrew from the Netherlands and today I'm going to review a Yamaha Natural Sound CR2020 receiver. This receiver is built in 1978 and is the best receiver ever made by Yamaha. It's a 2 times 100 watt by 8 ohms and it weighs 18.6 kg. So come with me and discover what is this Yamaha all about. Okay? So here we have the Yamaha CR2020 natural sound. Open all up. So you can see how impressive the insides is from this receiver. I never had a Yamaha before, but when I opened this up, I really I really was impressed. It's it's just marvelous technique and well, only the tuner, the tuner part, look how big the tuner part is. Much bigger than the Marantz receivers. I think the tuner, I tested the tuner sound, the tuner sound is, is very, very good. I think it's better than the Marantz receivers. As you can see, all the bulbs from this unit are out, but it's very easy to replace them you can see it's just wired wired uh, wired lamps and uh, it's they are 12 volt 60 milliampere so but I didn't had any spare spare lamps in my house so uh, uh, I did not uh, change them for this test anyway there are five of these lamps one two three four and of course the fifth one is for the uh, for the dial pointer and uh, well they all use 12 volt 60 milli milliampere 4 millimeter bulbs and they, well, they are easy to find and uh, and easy to change uh, they are they are hooked up in serial so if one of them if, if one of these lamps uh, is broken none of them will work so uh, if you have if you have to change one you have to change all of them um, well this is the travel it's a very big heavy travel like you can see and uh, I, I will keep my my finger here so you can see the, uh, the difference it's very big it has very impressive cooling technique like you can see it's very nice building cooling technique heavy thick metal cooling plates you can see the filter caps they are built under uh, this section and uh, well I will not open the the bottom side it's uh, it's just you have to imagine how big they are because this unit is two times 100 watt for 8 ohms it's very very big and uh, as you can see the travel is also very very big it's hot I played it a little bit so I feel the warmth here with my hands because I, I played this thing for 15 minutes now okay uh, let's let's put back the uh, the hood so you can see how it looks with the wooden hood So what can we say about the back? Well, the back is just as impressive as the front. It has six speaker connections. Normally I see two or four speaker connections. No, this one has two, four, six speaker connection. And what's more impressive is the power this thing uses. 690 watts of power. So it needs that power to power up its one, two times 100 watt uh, power inside. And it's very very impressive. I see this particular unit needs a new wire because uh, this old wire uh, is not good anymore. But the next owner will, uh, will take care of that. It have two phono uh, connections, phono one, phono two. This that is impressive. It have of course tape one, tape two. It have its pre out, so you can use this receiver as a pre. Uh, amplifier and uh, what is very strange about this unit is the tuner uh, connection normally you have a male tuner connection 
and uh, so you can pop in your uh, tuner cable uh, very easy but this one have a female that's very strange most of them have a male connections anyway I hooked my uh, cable uh, connection uh, in this way so to test it out it have its voltage selector the voltage selector is very impressive it goes from 110 volt 120 volt 130 volt 220 volt 230 volt and 240 volt so very impressive uh, I don't see a fuse on the back but anyway this fuses will be inside of course I don't know what is this it's oh yes it's of course the selector of the pre amplifier and okay this is the back very impressive with all the connections you want okay Uh, the wooden chase is very massive, it's strong. This one is, well, the shape is not very good, but the good news is if you are handy or you want to spend some money, you can get this wooden box as new because it's, uh, it's not veneer, it's strong materials, wood, and it is massive. So if you are handy with wood, you can make it very nice if you find one who is in a bad shape. I prefer a unit with a nice face plate like this one without any scratches and a bad wooden case uh, than the, the other way around with a nice wooden case and the front plate full with scratch scratches because these scratches you cannot repair but the wood you can repair so that's not a big issue. Anyway, um, so what do we see in the front? Okay um it have its sp meter so if you can see it sp meter it have its sp out signal it have of course the fm tuning uh, meter and all the buttons are here all the knobs it's very very impressive speaker a b c speaker combination a b or speaker combination a c and of course the offset it have its low filter, high filter, it have its turnover frequency that is very very special. You, you hardly can find any receiver with all these possibilities. It's very very impressive. It have of course its bass treble uh, flat, I can see flat here that's the mid, the, the bass, the mid and the treble. It have its regular loudness so you can you can normally you find loudness on and off and in this case you can just select your loudness how hard you want your loudness so it's very nice very impressive like I said before it have its stereo mode left right it have its uh, it's the main selector tuner radio aux pre out tape one copy one and the same thing it have here Okay, it have audio muting, uh, phono, of course, tuner, AM, AF, AM, FM, and okay, too much to, to, to discuss. The most important thing, what I'm going to discuss with you, is the, uh, is the sound. First of all, I am a Marantz lover, and uh, I am open for all different sounds. I, uh, I want to, to discover a better sound than Marantz. That's why I am buying all these equipments, all these old vintage uh, receivers, just to, to, to test them out if there is any sound better than Marantz. Well, to be honest with you, I don't like this sound. I don't, I even, uh, okay, now I have this Marantz, this 2252 B Marantz and uh, well, I will make a review later and I will test these two against each other so it will be the the Marantz uh, uh, 2252B VSD Yamaha uh, 2020 but for now I'm just only concentrate on the on the Yamaha if you like the Marantz sound and if you like the loudness on the Marantz you will never like the Yamaha and uh, it uh, well it's it's personal it's personal 
the sounds it's very clear crisp crisp and clear but I, I miss I miss the warmth the warmth I I I I I, I heard in the Marantz units and uh, but yes uh, I also play my Marantzes with loudness on and yeah a lot of you music lovers sound lovers they want they want the natural sound without without the the loudness and uh, uh, what I heard from 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 a lot of guys who, who love who love Yamaha they told me that Yamaha is the best in sound and of course I believe them but for me personally I love more uh, the uh, the Marans. okay let's try out the sound Wat fantastisch, hè? Je kunt het niet meer zien. Ik heb 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 het niet meer de voormalige lead gitarist van Juicis is voor een eenmalige optreden in de Nederlandse Poptempel Paradiso. Natuurlijk heeft Carol voor jou de laatste kaart. Doe jij met Carol naar dit unieke concert? Geef dan antwoord op de vraag: met wie maakte hij het vorig jaar het album? De smaak was, uh, was geweldig. Oké, okay, nou, voordat de jaren Joep zou uh, helemaal losgaan met het show, eerst even terugblikken op de af. Hoor ik nou over, uh, uh, Justin Timberlake is een soort van kettingroker en uh, zegt nou... Ja, hoe is het nou voor Jessica Biel die, uh, die heeft gezegd dat hij moest stoppen met roken, want zij wil ook een keer bespannen worden. Ja. Vandaar dat verhaal. Alicia, Charlotte Heger. Ben je dan weg? Uh, mag ik nog dingen waar we rekening mee moeten houden? Eh, mag ik nog dingen waar we rekening mee moeten houden? Dat is van 80 kilometer. En vanavond wordt er wel gewerkt. Er gaan geen snelwegen dicht. Belden en negen gaan dicht. Uh, Alkmaar en, en Helder. Dus een... Uh, jullie hebben... Ja. Oké. Okay. Wie? Wat is er? Ja, samen met de raadje die je mee gaat nemen. Maar dat wordt sowieso een leuk feestje. Ook al ga je er in je eentje dat is ook goed hoor. Oh, yeah. En je krijgt ook een fantastisch vol verrassingen. Een rijk gevulde het Candy Goodie Bag, dat is altijd wel welkom volgens mij. Zeker. En je bent ook een toolkit van Bols om uh, lekker thuis zelf cocktails mee te maken. Fantastisch. En wordt het nog een beetje springmorgen? Nou, in het noorden kan de zon even schijnen. Maar in de rest van het land is het gewoon bewolkt. Er is zelfs kans op regen. Het wordt een graad of 18 morgen. Met korte rokjes, maar dan moeten mensen nog even tien minuten voor blijven hangen. Dat zou kunnen, maar uh, die korte rokjes ben ik niet tegengekomen. Ja, dat is, ik blijf luisteren. <laughs> ja, zeker. Um, uh, wat we verder hadden uh, is uh, de ZTW-index. Uh, de index voor het consument die met het uh, Duitse investeringsvertrouwen die is in de. Oké, okay, like you can hear the sound is very, very impressive, uh, strong, and uh, well, the sound is very nice. It's so much different than the Marantz. It's uh, like I say, I will, I will do a uh, VS a Marantz 50 uh, 
22552B VSDCR2020. Well, this unit is impressive. It's its weight 18.6 kilogram, so that's way over 35 pounds. I don't know exactly uh, how much LBS that is, but 18.6 kilogram is very very heavy. Uh, this Marans weight only 14 kilograms, so that's a big difference. And uh, anyway. Um, this unit is very nice looking, it has all the things you need. If you already owned a Yamaha, well, I don't have to tell you about the sound quality and its sound. It, uh, you have to love the sound of Yamaha and uh, as, I, as I said before, the Yamaha is very good, very nice sound, but it's so much different than the old Marantzes. So, if you love one of these, you will not love the other one. That's well. That's that's my opinion and that's my experience. Now I could test. It. So this was my review of the Yamaha 2020. I hope you uh, you liked the review. And uh, with all my honesty, I can say that I finally met the equal of Marantz. Although it's a completely different sound, uh, it's a good sound. You have to try both of the sounds to know what fits you the best. Anyway. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel, I will be back with more reviews, so stay tuned on my channel and uh, please don't, uh, don't hesitate to comment and uh, to uh, give me uh, a thumbs up. Thank you very much, bye bye.